Hi folks, my name's Ashley. I'm one of the founders of Skira and I'm here today to show you everything that's new in Construct 3 release 251. We have an amazing update for you today with some uh, really cool new features. Uh, let me jump in and show you uh, one of them. Uh, we, we think you'll be very excited about the new 3D Shape plugin in this release. It's uh, as it suggests you can just drop in a 3D shape in your project. Uh, the animations edit editor appears with um, six images to show each face of a cube. And then there you have it. Already you've dropped in a nice little 3D box shape. And as you zoom and scroll around, you can see there's a 3D effect on that. And you can move a few around and you can see how there's now a 3D appearance in your game. It's as easy as that. Uh, you can use the Z elevation to move it up and down on the Z axis and there's also the Z height which you can use to change how tall the shape is. There's uh, a couple of shapes you can choose from like prism and wedge and you can also do things like control which faces are visible on the shape. We can't, uh, oh just one other thing, uh, you can also use um, sprites for animated faces of the shape, um, tile backgrounds and line patches to customize the appearance. Um, let me just show you a couple of other 3D examples. Um, so you can use a new 3D tag in the uh, start page to look at some of the uh, new examples relating to 3D. Uh, here's one which just shows you a few more of the things which you can do with the 3D shape object, uh, which you can also preview and just run around and see how they look in game as well. And there's um, one uh, cool example just demonstrates what you can do uh, with very quick results. Here's a simple platform template, but it just uses 3D shapes for the platforms. And like a normal platform game, these have the solid behavior added. And they have it, instant 3D appearance to your platformer. And it's no harder than making a 2D game. So we think this is a, this is a really cool feature. It's um, uh, obviously not a full 3D engine, but it gives you a really quick way to get some 3D results. I'm going to move on now to another place where we've made some updates, which is the mesh distortion feature. Uh, so I'm just going to open this uh, template and uh, show you uh, what you can now do with it. So as you remember, mesh distortion allows you to deform the appearance of objects. Now, if I just drag this point here, one update is you can see there's all the properties for the um, mesh points. Uh, down on the left so you can customize everything about how mesh distortion works and another 3d feature there's now a z elevation feature for uh, mesh points so now you can move uh, individual points up on the z axis and you can see now there's a 3d appearance to the mesh so you can use this to sort of uh, warp and distort objects in three dimensions as well as in two dimensions and um, possibly even do some kind of sort of really basic kinds of 3d modeling that's a cool new feature that we're looking forward to seeing uh, you, what you can do with. And just to show you another example, that uh, Z elevation for mesh points can also be controlled at runtime. So this demo just uh, uses the sign behavior to move the Z elevation of some uh, points uh, up and down over time. And you can see you can create this sort of interesting kind of 3D distortion effect going on here. So. Have a look at that, try it out. Um, we think this is a really exciting new uh, direction for Construct to go in, and uh, we think uh, you, you'll be able to make even more beautiful and amazing games with it. Now, uh, one other thing I'm going to cover in this video is there's a new export option, uh, which I'll just show you in the export um, dialog here. So in, you may remember in previous releases, we added a new Windows export option, which is the uh, as a wrapper uh, for the WebView 2 control. It's basically a small lightweight app which uses the Windows built-in uh, WebView to display your game. It's a very sort of lightweight alternative to NWJS. You get a very small output executable file. Um, the new export option is now a Mac OS equivalent for that. Uh, the Mac OS system WebView is called WK WebView. Um, hence the name there. It's a very similar thing. It's just a lightweight um, app which wraps your HTML5 project in a uh, macOS native app and displays it using the macOS system web view. 
I'm on a PC here, so I'm not going to go into a full demo of that now. But if you're interested in Mac OS exports, take a look at that. And uh, the description of this video will include some links to the documentation covering a bit more how that works. And as ever, another thing, uh, as ever, if you look at the new tag on the start page, we have loads of new examples which have been added since the uh, last release. These include all sorts of game templates, as well as some more of the some more examples demonstrating new features such as the mesh shed elevation and a 3D shape. So have a look through these, um, and hope you have fun uh, looking through those and playing with the new features. That's all I'm going to cover on this video. As ever, there's been a huge amount of other updates, bug fixes, changes, additions, so on and so forth. You can look through the uh, full release notes of all the intervening beta releases as usual if you'd like to see absolutely everything that's new since the last stable release. One more thing I'll very quickly mention, if you uh, are interested in trying new features uh, before they come to the stable channel, if you go to settings, you can um, choose to be notified about updates for beta releases. Now, just a word of warning, beta releases aren't quite so well tested as stable releases. There may be some unexpected issues or bugs. So we do recommend that you back up your work and uh, have some caution about using them. But you also get to access the latest new features uh, sooner and uh, can help try them out and let us know if anything goes wrong. That's all for this video. Um, and we hope you have fun using Construct and see you next time.